Hi, I am James Marshall. With the help of my friends, I've been training for the 2013 Marathon de Sable. Now that's all done, so let's get on with it. After day one, I was feeling pretty shitty. I didn't sleep and had bad diarrhea. 22 runners have already dropped out. No matter how bad it gets, I'm not joining them. This is not an ordinary marathon today. It's very, very steep. As you can see, we've come, uh, we are one mountain down the other, up another. It is exhausting, but this is the mouth and the sub, and why we've come to this epic race. Because it was easy, everyone would do, wouldn't they? So we're in the day two, and um, I've uh, seriously underestimated the mouth and the sub. And now, it's like, I feel like such a pussy, but it's, it's like overpowering. My overwhelming pain is I'm actually tired and dizzy. Um, uh, totally bugger today. Couldn't keep hydrated. Drank about eight litres of water, nine litres of water, I haven't peed once. Not a good sign. This is, uh, really beautiful. It's a little Berber village and a real oasis, look at that. They talk about running in marathons hard enough. Running in a desert's hard enough. Running in a desert carrying all your own shit's hard enough. Then they put mountains in the middle of the road of the course. Um, but yeah, it was a good day. And I think we've now, we've now done three stages and we have two stages to go. Uh, I'm terrified about tomorrow. Tomorrow's the uh, 80 kilometers or 50 miles. And apparently there's 13 kilometers of um, enormous sand dunes. So I'm gonna give myself, um, hopefully, um, I'll do tomorrow's stage in 18 hours. But I'm absolutely knackered. I think I might go to bed in a minute. <laughs> so yeah, so uh, day three down, two more to go. Uh, going now for what, nine hours? Nine hours, exactly. We've been going, out for, going for nine hours. The sun's coming down. We've got 30k or 20 miles to go. My feet, as well as my friend's feet, are wrecked. Um, so the second we get up, I, don't, I daren't take my shoes off because I think there's, you know, they're swollen and they're bloody, the nails falling off, just gnarly and disgusting. I don't think I, well, I'm not saying right now, I don't think I have any blisters. Could be, it's probably fluid, it's lifted the nail off. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that is gross, dude. Yeah. This is what the mouth and the sob does to your feet. That is my nail completely off. When the scalpel cut into my soul, it was pretty bad. But the rotten skin just had to go. They took 15% of the skin from my left foot and 20% from the right foot. And I still have to run a full marathon tomorrow. Uh, I can walk without shoes on, it's just walking, putting my shoes on. So. What I'm actually thinking of doing is taking, if it gets really bad my shoes, taking my insoles out of my shoes uh. um, and then to get some tape and tape the insoles on the bottom of my feet. Like, blood's vanished, blood has disappeared. 
miles ago. Yes, zero zero seven. Ah, okay. So the marathon is finally over. Thank God. It's, it's been um, uh, emotional. It's been painful. It's been uh, the most challenging thing I've ever done. Um, someone asked me today, would I ever do it again? Um, and I really can't say I would. Maybe I change my mind in a few weeks. But we've had um, a guy had a flare blow up in his hand yesterday. But people were heli backed off the off the race course. Uh, one of our friends almost died yesterday. Had nine liters of fluid pumped into him. It's been 52 degrees Celsius. It's just been. I just cannot describe what it's like.